Hey, old man Dan here. Look what we got. We got my replacement Bronco uh, came in. I just arrived back from my trip and, um, you know, had one of my staff members uh, come down here and receive this at the clubhouse. But look, it's another box on the inside. So hopefully all the damage on this box on the outside um, doesn't mean anything to the scooter on the inside. Right? So I'm hoping that it's, uh, you know, that it's okay. But you see the arrows pointing down. <laughs> they brought this sucker in upside down. So the scooter's been upside down for <laughs> a few days. That's crazy. All right. So that's that. So hopefully everything's good. Strapped up. We got it strapped up here. The first one came. It wasn't strapped up. So let's check it out. I'm hoping for some good news. Okay, so this scooter came completely discharged. Has a few scuffs on it, you know, the kick plate and um, you know, but you know, it's dirty here on the on the um deck, but all the Broncos come dirty like that because it's actually stained from the brown box that goes on top right there. So all of them, even the one I'm sitting back has um that brown stain was on there when I got it as well. But it came from the box that sits right there in packing. But I need to charge it up and check and make sure it works before I send the one that I have that actually works. It just doesn't pick up speed. That's the only problem with it. It's a speed problem. <laughs> so I got it all boxed up and everything. I triple taped here. And then I double taped on the edges. And then I ran tape around it to to cover the double tape that I did on the edges all right so we'll be sending this back and of course you see it's right side up now they sent me a scooter that is dead 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 totally dead so, so I'm charging that one up and I got this one going ready to go and so get ready to put the shipping labels on it he is taking the box right now, just dropped it, it's going on a trip. There she goes. That's how they handle it. <laughs> they just throw it. It looked like he tumbled it top over bottom, put it on the truck. Lord have mercy. Oh man, Scootopians. Well, we finally got it unboxed. We got it unpacked, charged up, tightened screws, applied uh, all the attachments and all of that, you know, and hope that this thing would give me what I'm looking for. Power. Well, I took it out for a ride and it's worse than the first. So it's definitely a uh, production problem. Um, I did find out from uh, Bronco that uh, one of the Bronco representatives told me that in fact they do have a controller problem with this scooter and that's why um, the power bogs out at 40 miles an hour. Uh, well on mine that I sent back 45 miles an hour bogging out on the power. This one 35 miles an hour. And this one the Scooter literally jerks very hard when it decreases the power. So uh, once you hit the 35, then it jerks and it literally causes your front uh, wheel to wobble. So this one is actually more dangerous. Um, the other one, at least I was encouraged to ride it because it was still fun to ride at slow speed. But we have one of the most anticipated power scooters along, you know, next to this NAMI which of course is useless. I can't ride it. It's totally damaged. The shipping company did a number on a few of us, about 25 scooters in that condition. Um, I did visit Julian over at Fluid Free Ride and um, he's uh, on top of it. The first shipment of replacement scooters went out. Each scooter on a, a single pallet, wrapped everything and arrived. Um, I'll, I'll try and share a picture with you on um, how they look when they're shipped and everything. Um, but yeah, um, 
And so the second shipment is going out. So Bronco needs to really get on the ball. Bronco Motors. Um, this is a, a manufacturer production problem. It needs to be really fixed there. Because now they said they're going to send out um, controllers to the affected users who bought those defective scooters, Bronco Extremes. Um, it really won't help because it has to be programmed. The motors, the controllers, the BMS and battery and the display all work together to cause your scooters to function properly. And so it's got to be programmed. So it really has to happen at a manufacturer or a production level and just fix it and send a new scooter. That's what you got to do. Uh, you know, I mean, just like Julian and, and Nami, they jumped on the Nami problem. Fixing the problem, sending out new scooters right away. Um, I should be getting mine, I don't know, within a week or so. And um, I'll be able to uh, really test the NAMI. But Bronco, I'm supposed to be testing them both together. We're supposed to be seeing which one reigns supreme over the Bronco and the NAMI. And people have been asking me, and I've been saying the Bronco until I got this one. And now the Bronco is out of the question. So um, here we are, have... One of the most anticipated power scooters of 2021 that was looking pretty good there until we had that power problem. Now been reduced to a commuter. That means a fourteen to $1,800 scooter. Wow. <laughs> all right, Bronco, get it together, man. I'm hoping you all see this video and make the changes, the necessary changes that you need to make. Get this thing taken care of immediately so that we can get it tested and prove its verity all right all right this is old man dan saying um make sure you guys subscribe to my channel share and like my videos and stay tuned got a whole lot more coming i still got new scooters coming and so we got a lot coming all right old man dan out you about to meet the man old man dan was about the love and help mankind Start a scooter club, I know you're fine Cause you're just like that You bend over backwards to help a man You strap up, you boot up, you throw on your colors Get ready to hang, riding with the fellas Yeah, yeah, on a glorious crusade Helping those in The guys day. are pulling they up and I'll tell you, you it's getting West It's Coast getting crowded out here yeah, yeah. Look at there, I'll tell you, it's cool I love it, I love it.